Welcome, yeah, so I'm going to show you two different methods by which we can find the Laplace transform of sine t over t. The first method will be uh, this video, yeah? Okay, so here in this first method, we're going to recall that the Laplace transform for f of t over t is equal to the integral from s to infinity of f of u du, where f of u is a Laplace transform of just f of t, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, um, I have a video where I prove this result, so I'll leave a link to that video below this video uh, where we show this result that's displayed in black up top. Yeah? Okay, 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 cool. So here, the first thing we should do is figure out what f of u is, because that's what we have to integrate to get to the Laplace transform of f of t over t. And so clearly, uh, f of u here is going to be the Laplace transform of sine t. In a different video, I show you how to do the Laplace transform for sine t, so I'll leave a link to that video also. All right, so the Laplace transform for sine t is 1 over 1 plus u squared. And so uh, this is what we have to integrate, 1 over 1 plus u squared from um, s to infinity to come up with the Laplace transform for sine t over t. Because, yeah, uh, since f of t is sine t, uh, sine t over t would be this integral here, where, again, f of u would be the Laplace transform of sine t, which is this guy here, yeah? Okay, cool. So let's get on with it. Uh, so the Laplace transform for sine t over t, as we said, would, will be the integral from s to infinity, right, of uh, 1 over uh, 1 plus u squared du, right? Okay, and this is an easy, familiar antiderivative. It's tan inverse of u and evaluate it from s to infinity, right? So it's tan inverse of u evaluated from s to infinity. So we plug in infinity, and then we plug in s and take the difference. So that would be this. Well, in theory, we're not plugging in infinity. We're taking the limit as, say, a goes to infinity of tan inverse of a and then minus tan inverse of s. But we could just, for simplicity or for um, efficiency, say we plugged in infinity. And clearly, uh, tan inverse of infinity is pi over 2. Maybe not so clear, so my bad. Uh, just look at the tan inverse function uh, graph, and you'll see the tan inverse of infinity. A tan inverse of infinity is pi over two. But yeah, so with that, um, this is it. So this is um, f of s, the Laplace transform for uh, sine t over t. Yeah, cool. All right. As I said, we'll see another method by which we can do this. Uh, keep watching. Take care.